What's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Pirates. And in this episode the Pirate Hordes under Cornelius Bellamy are going to attack the City of London. So we're going to go incredibly artillery heavy from the get-go to open up as many avenues to attack the city as possible. Then once that's done the foot artillery will be limbering up and RT being as we bring in more uh, pirates, pirates, pirate troops to help our cause. So I am relying on this reinforcing army being useful, do as much damage as we can, and let's get in there and knock out the garrison. So let's take them out. One thing I did find out previously was that uh, three artillery units take a fairly long time to knock down the walls, and by then, I mean it was fairly unique because our infantry were getting attacked by artillery units placed outside of the wall. But in this case, I still would feel more comfortable having more access points into London and then pulling them back once the actual walls are taken down. So now we can have three units working each. So actually, to be honest, the safe thing to do, well, the safe thing, the smart thing to do would be to say, OK, the range is massive. So let's deploy these guys right at the back, because they can lob their shells really far. So at least when they limber up, when they limber up to uh, leave, they won't take quite as long to exit the battlefield. The howitzers, though, they can be up front. So I'll pretty much want to have a significant contingent over here in the flank hidden in the trees with three militia units to protect my force with my general. Let's get to work. So you guys work on that section, you guys work on that section. How it says switch to carcass shot, let them open fire on whatever targets they want. They're going after the cavalry in the centre. So let's start to rain fire onto some of these units on the wall, as well as have one unit keep working on the centre. Because the British line infantry are no slouches in combat. Yeah. All of my guns are opening up. Doing good work. And part of the reason why I want so much artillery is because if I need to rely on reinforcements coming in, I really don't want the timer to run out. Ooh, that's quite a nice target. But we do have a, a shot. How it's a unit aiming at this garrison and militia unit. Looks like a firework display. Ooh, rockets would be good if I could get them. There we go. So you're going to have to use do things like this in order to get into the fort. And you're going to need to do it to equalise out the numbers problem because the issue is, is line infantry I mean, militia are okay They've not got super great morale, and then just they're not brilliant in melee combat. I mean, Buccaneers are, but they're squidgy. Although, actually, they've got more defense than a militia unit, which is odd. Well, seems odd to me. Do another volley. It's part of the name of the game will be to demolish the wall to create more sections where. They'll cluster behind the breach. Because if I mass assaulted right now, it would go horribly wrong. Yes. Grey coats, red coats, doesn't matter. They all fall in the end and they form square. So I know these, these attacks here aren't super useful. Neither are you, realistically. Well, one of the... I can't remember which unit's attacking centre, but I'm inclined to let them just carry on the way they are. 
you've almost drawn away the entire force protecting this frontier. Yeah, two breaches is good. I don't want to go any, any further than that because then it might become a bit tricky for me to hold in later stages. At least if that army to the north runs south to attack us. Do have a reasonable chunk of cavalry, but I'm not super bothered about that. Yeah, you're still picking away at the Hussars. That's not a major concern. Sixty-eight percent on well, almost all sections of the wall. This is the kind of behaviour we need to rely on. We're quite we're fortunate in a way that the the garrison force is so sufficiently weak. They're not well. Actually, it would be in some ways it would be good if it was being held by elite troops because then I'd feel a lot more satisfied shelling the crap out of them as it stands. Hello, are you sending more men down here to stand in a block? Good for you, Britain. Good for you. We can't trap any men on the walls if we destroy this bastion. This footpath still functions. 76, 79, more how it's fire inbound. Carcass shot is a good equaliser. Okay, now let's... To be honest, I like the way the fire is all split up and is very irregular, but let's just... Okay, I've already forgotten who's attacking what. You attack them, you attack them, you attack them, and then this unit here. Attack ground. 96... 96%, so soon this section of the wall will be down after this volley. So now this gun battery fall back. You men have also fell that section of the wall, so now you men can fall back. Let my howitzers continue their deadly work. So where are their mortars? See, there's a mortar crewman. They've lost they've lost eleven crewmen, which is quite good. Their artillery is continuing to engage. Right, okay, so now you can start to more specifically hit some of these targets that are marching to defend the wall rather than the centre. Not as useful compared to knocking out these fellas. Right, so that wall that shot did get deflected. Okay, so they've so they they withdraw to limber up, then you have to make them both click withdraw again. There we go, and that'll give us six extra troops to attack the front of the wall. It would be it would be better actually if we could if we knocked out more of their howitzers. So I might actually dictate two of you to fire on the centre, just to try and knock out some more of their crew. The howitzer crew, because if we knock out the howitzers, or the mortars, then we can slowly advance outside of the city and not have to worry about their mortars doing damage to us. We can be very incremental in our approach. There we go. Reinforcements are coming in. Slightly off axis, but not, not a terrible position. We're going to let them march in. As usual, more howitzer fire coming in. Kill the handful of chaps there. Hopefully, mortar garrison down to five men. Because once the reinforcements are on the field, we can begin our actual invasion. Hello. How are they doing now? Still down to five men. I'm not so bothered about the horse artillery. It's all about... Okay, they're down to two men. Don't worry about that. 
get my howitzers to engage all of the remaining enemy, let the reinforcements enter the field before we run these guys up to try and secure this corner. There's two units where we're, we're expecting four, bucan uh, four militia units and two buccaneers. Meanwhile, my glorious howitzers are going to carry on doing their work. 17th, 18th, 19th and 20th regiments of artillery. More howitzer fire. Especially when you get misfires like that and nothing... <laughs> they all miss. Yeah, got a couple of guys there. But when we move, I want to move in a suitable manner. So let's get my three militia over here on this flank. Get this buccaneer unit to support them on the left. Because these militia units can push up the right flank. Be supported by this unit of militia plus one more buccaneer. Huzzah! There's always the one howitzer that's firing late, although he's not going to do much of anything. Okay, so you chaps form your positions. The Buccaneers are going to support your push on the right. Lots of good damage. I mean, we're doing so much damage. I mean, I know howitzers are good, but... I don't want to push this attack until my chaps are in position and we can advance from all directions at once. Because I know they've only got... Uh... Well, actually, where are their mortars? Okay, it is one team. Two guys manning one gun. But to be honest, I think the centre is going to fall fairly quickly. And this team back here that are waiting, including the veteran 18th regiment, are going to be storming the walls fairly rapidly. Let's speed up time, because right now I am just waiting on my reinforcing mateys into position, and it's just going to do... just going to keep picking away at the enemy. Actually, I might even get two of you. Two 18 strong units. Start dropping round shot on the 1st Regiment of Dragoons. To the rear. Okay. Speed up time again. Da -da -da -da. Okay, right, you know what? I'm getting. Even I'm getting antsy here. You men run. You men run. Let's get the ball rolling. Heave ho, thieves and beggars. We're going to get a unit of militia up onto the wall. Maybe two units on the wall. Buccaneers go in. Two units of militia hold at the front. New men advance. Try and see if we can lure any of them outside of the protection of the walls. Some of these units are likely to remain. Oops, some round shot landing in the centre. Near misses will be okay, because you, if you land short, you'll hit the artillery. Well, it looks like they're probably hitting the Command HQ first. Okay, so you two cover the breach. Buccaneers sit on the flank. 38th Regiment, scale the wall. 48th Regiment, scale the wall. They will likely... Pretend, well, they might... They might I say, I say likely, the correct answer is might. Push out of the breach to try and prevent us from scaling the wall, in which case these two units can open up.
Oops, there's a charge at the front. So you buccaneers secure that section. You men climb here. Get a militia unit to hold in the face of enemy cavalry. You men secure there. Just get people up the wall rapidly. We can't really rely on capturing the gate intact. Provincial militia are sallying. These two regular units that are firing carcass shot attack the breach. There we go. Shells inbound. Haha! <laughs> Second regiment are advancing. You guys, you fire it well on, which is good, because if they run towards you, you'll give them a volley of pistol shot. Make my militia units guard mode on. There we go. They're trying to push out of the the breach towards us, but they're not getting it. Buccaneers advance. You men get back here. So we're going to get our buccaneers attack the garrison line. I would like to get these guys to charge the line, but if I do that they'll run and try and climb up here, which I don't want them to do. You men charge the dragoons. Militia fired at will off. You men switch out a round shot and attack the artillery. Buccaneers charge. These militia units will have enough mass to run through this engagement. You men fight that garrison provincial militia unit. The unit here. You men just continue to climb the wall. Second regiment. Okay, right. These guys that are firing... You can attack them, you men can attack the centre. Okay, now we've got a reasonable number. Let's try to get guys over the wall. Let's try to get everyone up. Okay, good. That's kind of what I was hoping would happen. I'm going to have to give them an attack order. Attack the garrison line, they're going to pathfind their way out of there. I was counting on my militia having mass to run through these troops, but to be honest, there's hardly anyone there. There we go. So we've managed to rout the second regiment. My gunners engage the people standing in the way of this breach. I'm counting on the 48th, dealing with the 6th. And I'm counting on the 38th when they're up and ready to man the fire step and fire down into the breach here. And there we go, two buccaneer units have surrounded the weakened 10th regiment of foot. So they might put up a fight, but I think we will be enough. The Dragoons, they were at about 80 strong, now they're down to 32. So even though it says we are losing slightly, we're actually doing pretty darn good. Okay, right. Pretty sure it's the... This engagement here that's causing it to chug. Let's so give everyone orders again just to run through the fight. Don't fight, just run through it. There we go, more artillery in the sensors causing issues in this breach. So keep the artillery firing home. So once again, these guys have started to fight in the breach. I give them another order just to run through it again. Okay, we've got another... We've got a gatehouse secured here. Form a pirate firing squad to engage the centre. Let's 
moving people around. So you guys should... In theory... Hey, did you fire a pistol shot? I think you probably did. Let's continue to leave this flank as it is. Because actually that's quite... That's quite secure, really. Get these units to the rear. Get these buccaneers over to that flank. These two buccaneers have butchered the tent. The enemy... Another gate has been secured, so the new men... There we go. Our pirates have begun volley firing into the enemy. I would garrison the command HQ if... Well, some parts of it aren't actually that far away from destruction. I sense artillery is causing concerns. So you men all attack the 6th Regiment. Let's get our buccaneers in, which means you guys fire it will off. Okay, you men do the same thing. Just engage the sensor with musket fire. You guys fire it will off because you're just shooting into the back of the 30th. Attack this regiment of horse. Well, this one, one cavalryman. Interesting to know that, that... Oh, they've expended their ammunition, I expect. They're actually looking like these guys want to try to climb down, yeah. I think how weird that is. I mean, I wonder why you men aren't firing at will. No one's stuck anywhere. You men pivot and engage the troops on the... Actually, don't bother to do that. I'm curious why you aren't shooting. Because I don't see any green arrows that suggest where your men are stuck. Hmm. All right, then. I was trying to hold off sending men in melee-wise, because we, we're doing quite well in terms of maintaining the lives of our troops. <laughs> yeah, immediately folded. I think that's everyone though, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, massive amounts of artillery fire. That's how pirates are best used to uh, take cities. Nicely done. Nicely done indeed. So now we can afford to be a bit more ordinary with our artillery. There we go. So provide uh, two units of militia, one buccaneer, two militia, one buccaneer into the city. Anything more? Very well. So you men combine with them. Okay, very well. So you men replenish. London, replenish. Let's demolish Cambridge. We are Protestant, yes. Yes, we are Protestant. Fantastic. And let's start the very expensive business of trying to replenish as many buildings as we can. Which is not many. We cannot replenish very many men. So here in Dublin, we can't really do anything. We're not going to repair anything. We're going to be ready to withstand a siege from John Churchill. But unfortunately, we have no artillery, so this could get very bloody, considering they've got a very strong force of elite troops. But at the very least, we will do as much damage as we can so that one of these armies can march northward again. We also have... James Dampy is outside... He was within strike range of Upper Louisiana, which... That's just mortar is all that is. Because it's just two mortars and a mounted troop. But we can't do anything about it. 
Um, here in the Carolinas. To be honest, we need to spend some money here in the Americas. So England has been secured and Upper Louisiana. Okay, that's pretty good. In terms of technology, there's no point doing anything with Cambridge because they'll be destroyed before we can do anything useful with them. We're never going to get access to the modern university because our home, our, our capital region does not have a space to build a town. So we'll never get any of these. But we can just carry on as well, carry on doing what we're doing. Not that we're going to really need it because we're not too far off of the... Uh, not too far off of actually being completed. Um, okay, so in terms of my navies, you're doing good stuff. You're full strength because you're my fighting navy. Race built galleons, not really a fighty ship. Oh, to be honest. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Leave it as is. Uh, you have a... Well, not a flight. Yeah, I can use a flight. Okay. Elsewhere, things are, I think are pretty darn stable. I think I can move you guys out of St. Augustine. Push up to Charleston. Although I actually can't take... Well, I might be able to take all of you. But yeah, this area just needs money spending on it. It's been pointed out they should build more fishing ports, which is definitely right. Uh, well, Savannah doesn't necessarily matter because they have no towns, but the likes of Charleston, for example, that has Raleigh and Charlotte. Well, Charlotte's going to grow first anyway, but if uh, their port did develop, which is here, Georgetown, then I'd probably be better off upgrading that to a fishing port to spur the growth of those, those towns, which is quite right. So Britain is not destroyed because Tunis still exists. So this force is still a threat. So wherever John Churchill goes, we need to be ready. I'm not going to be super aggro about punting out the Royal Navy just yet. Because I have no money. 14,000 next turn because London is worth 2,300, which is fantastic. So let's hit in turn. And let's see where Mr. Churchill elects to push. United Provinces, who are now... Oh, 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 oh okay. We're going to have to fight them, then, because they look like they're on a mission to sail somewhere annoying. Hmm. Wish they built more galleons and stuff now. Oh. Not ideal, but there we go. We can take them out next turn. And it's interesting that Mr. Churchill hasn't actually... John Churchill hasn't actually moved... He's just dug in, which makes him vulnerable to being uh, surrounded. Not that we're going to go... Not that we're going to necessarily attack him at the moment. I'm content to expand my strength on the mainland. So, obviously, you guys are replenishing. We can rebuild the British Museum and the Naval College. Benito Baker is expanding, so Edinburgh is becoming that much more of a difficult proposition. And what I am going to do is take some units out so I can chuck in these two howitzers and these two artillery pieces into the city. So should they try and attack us and make a breach, we can defend it quite significantly. But apart from that, continue our recruitment of troops. But the main thing to do is over here in the Americas. So, first of all, let's do some spending. Yeah, well, St. Augustine has one town to develop. Pretty sure. There it is. De, Quest De Questa Mission, I guess. 65 turns, but then again, we're not massively worried about the speed of that growth, particularly. Well, you know what? I'll still build a local fishery. Why not? So you guys combine. Yeah, I thought it wouldn't be all of you. Okay, so let's combine the leftovers to a force here. And Savannah, build basic roads. Build a fishery, upgrade the governor's residence. And let's not go mad because we do have to engage... Siak Halbraken with his force from India. So they're using Ceylon to launch attacks against the pirate empire, the devils. Okay. 
so let's take Mr. Van der Spiegel, sail him to the western side of this area. Because I probably want to do some rejigging with Mr. Winthrop, because he has lots of galleons that I want. So Floyd has more hull strength, less firepower, but is more accurate. So I think I want to keep some Floyds here, but I probably want to take the sixth rate out, replace them with a galleon. probably stack up another galleon. To be honest, I think I want to take all of the fighty ships because I'm rubbish and keep them nearby. It's going to impact my income, but then again, you know, my trade, my tax income is now significant and it's growing at a good rate every turn. So I probably want to take Mr. Van der Spiegel. To be honest, actually a couple of these ships are pretty ragged. Obviously, any ships we take... Yes, your to, well, to be honest, all of these would be useful to take. Orders, but let's go and attack the Dutch. We definitely need to make sure we destroy slash capture uh, as many of these ships as possible. Well, preferably all of them to destroy this force. So let's take the pirate fleet to war. Yeah, I... Th we should be okay. I mean, I'm going to lose ships because I'm rubbish at the naval battle side, but there we are. Take the galleons, put them up front. I think they... Well, these numbers are different to the firepower as I could see, I saw before. Still, galleons up front, followed by my admiral, followed by the fifths, followed by the floats. Bada bing, bada boom. Spin them around like so. Oh god, our reinforcements are right behind them. And they're miles away. Uh, I'm definitely going to chop the recording and bring you guys back uh, when things start to happen because we are super far away. So just a second, everyone. So in a move that, take, that makes a huge amount of sense, the AI has just ran away from my main fleet and is instead going after my reinforcement, reinforcing fleet. So uh, I'm just trying to make them push up to a position whereby they can begin to engage the enemy fleet, but their job is very much going to be to hold up the enemy until the main fleet arrives. So my Floyd up front is going to be engaging Ruperda. As you can see, my reinforcing, my, my main battle fleet, has a significant distance to cover. And they are going at full sail, so uh, we have to try and do as much damage as we can with these ships. And we are attempting... to sail at as high a speed as possible however for whatever reason for some of these ships I think you're there's a bit of decon there's a bit of issue here between filibuster and blue badger set them fire at will as they close the distance and again I need to keep tailoring where my my fleet goes the edge of the maps here actually so Unless they get ready to do an about turn, they're going to experience some problems. You guys, actually, can begin to engage Geldersche Reiter, the flight. Actually, I think by pivoting there, I might have not done as well as I could have done. But keep firing. To be honest, you're probably going to try and cut off we're not going to cut anyone off. We're actually going to be pumping broadsides into this ship because that's the only ship you're going to actually have uh, the option to do that with. Uh, 
It's a bit of a sail issue, but everyone is moving. I'm not going to waste my time doing all that delicate manoeuvring stuff across the board. Hurry up, Wada. There you go. We're beginning to engage. So lots of their ships up front have experienced some level of trauma. Happy delivery, race-built galleon. At some point I'm just going to want you to cut north. Or cut north. Northwards to me, to them, cut south, southeast. So let's get ready to pump a broadside into the race-built galleon. Keep reloading. They're leaving a good chunk of their heavier ships behind, actually. Their fifth rates that are in good shape. 45-ish guns apiece. But the aim has to be to try and cut the enemy fleet in half. Because they're going to start to experience issues with the edge of the map. Come on, matey. Come on, full sail. If that's even possible. Switch to chain shop. I think they're probably not going to be able to use... Well, they can use it. Pump a broadside your masts. Hey! That yellow the rigging. Or the sail condition. Huh. Didn't know that was a thing. Okay, you three form a line to head off the fifth rates when they show up. Ah, yes. Mr. Floyd. We're going to successfully cut this section of their fleet off from help. You guys are going to try and sail at full sail to position, ready to engage the head of the fifth line, fifth rate column. You want to be busy pumping broadsides into the Floyd. Mimin is on fire. She is surrendered, so sail on. Load broadside right, you chaps sail on. Yeah, you guys haven't thought this through, have you? You might be chain shotting it, really. Mr. Sixth Rate. Try and cut off the head of the fifth rate column yourself. Come on, Blue Badger. Pump a volley into the Floyd. Come on, you chaps, sail at full speed. Don't let the sixth rate have all the luck. She's still reloading her guns. She's putting some shots into the sixth into the uh, mast, but not enough. Fire your broadside, just because she's already in pretty bad shape as it is. But you need to start turning. Get my sixth rate turned around. Blue badges fire at wills, probably gonna be enough to deal with the flight. C 
come hard about. To be honest, my column coming in needs to come in more... S-shaped. So you guys can fire a broadside with your... Shot ready. Ooh. Come on, keep making progress. Broadside. Fire. Reload. You chaps stay where you are. You sail on. I mean, I might have to... Well, I will have to deal with this Floyd because they're disrespecting me. You keep chucking chain shot. Come on, the Floyd's wavering. <laughs> oh, you had chain shot out. Okay. Routing and concerned on fire, so we want to make sure you don't get away. Fire broadside left, reload. Say, are you on? She's routing, but we wanted to surrender. Come on, surrender. Good. Get these ships turned around. I know there's a, there's extra ships behind us, but we don't have to worry about them just yet. Ready, broadside. Okay, so you're going to pivot to pump a broadside into Tiger. You can sail on. You can pivot around. Okay, they're actually starting to do... do stuff. They're breaking off their attack because they know what's about to happen. So you guys fire. They're turning about to try and engage us. You can just fire your broadside. Diablo is on fire, so turn off fire at will. You guys fire chain shot into Tiga. You just carry on to fire a will, Diablo. Uh, sadly not. Trouble is with Filibuster. Filibuster's not turning. Which is very bad for him. Pivot to try and get some hits into... Okay, you guys broadside left, make ready. Broadside right, make ready for the sixth. You've missed your turn, missed your chance. Okay, so you're going to hit first, then you. Broadside. Did you even fire? <laughs> you, wouldn't, you wouldn't obey my commands. You are routing. We don't want you to route. We want you to surrender. Let's see this pivot. Actually, keep firing. It's too bad about Diablo. 
not too bad about Diablo. Nah, it is too bad about Diablo. You guys actually though can stay on, stay in position to engage the, those ships there. There we go. These ships just position to fire at will against the enemy. You guys can pivot to, to begin engaging. It looks like they've, they've tried to do a 180, but now they're sailing against the wind, so it's going to take forever for them to get to us. But here comes the cavalry. At full speed. You can actually fire a chain shot at uh, Tiger. We've got three shots here picking away out of the enemy. You fire your broadside left, then turn fire at will on. Just engage, you three ships can just engage that ship column of ships there. There we go, they're turning to engage Wyada, the galleon at the head of the column. It's not going to be to their advantage. Tiga's lost her mast from firing from filibuster. Who's going to continue engaging Tiger? You guys have to do a bit of an old switcheroo. More chain shots. So we're getting some secondary hits against some of the other ships. Okay, you guys break off from the formation. Everyone else carry on as per the plan. Unfortunately though, those ships near the edge of the map mean it's going to be a bit difficult. Oh, you're actually turning into the wind. I didn't realise that. I forgot about that. Curse these damn old-fashioned naval tactics. Pivot. Just, yeah, these guys can just fire at will. Just get them to drop anchor. I mean, they will, they will kind of ping pong around and not be in the right place all the time. But concerned because you are dismasted. Flounder doesn't seem to want to engage. leave Wyada behind but yeah these guys are going to cause a bit of a problem because as soon as they rout oh god look at the, the whole mast arrangement was jiving around there tigers routing but they can't really rout okay you're get ready to, no I've turned you on to fire a broadside on my command, so I want you to hit Revoluti. That is quite a good target there for round shot. Continue to advance. Wappen van, Wappen van Hoom has lost a mast. But now they've started to hit my gun line. We we're going to do something like that. Okay. 
I mean, it's really it's a bit frustrating that Flounder's not. Oh. Yeah, just make them just right click attack someone, that way they might do something at least. Actually, I might take a selection of you to cut across like so. Maybe the rest of you, actually, to gun it down here. It looks like they are turning. So let's begin to form a firing line. I mean, you're going to just have to fire chain shot or whatever you can. Turn my sixth ray with the wind rather than against it. See if the flounder decides to engage now. See, so you can say I can fire a broadside, but will you let me fire a broadside? No. Fine, try and board that ship there. Yeah, they're trying to get into position. It's you to load broadside right to hit Vappen van Hoon. Revoluti looks upset. Fire your broadside now. Actually, there's no one, no one to cut off that ship there. So let's broadside. Oh, get ready to fire broadside there. See you later, fella buster. Good they've turned around, they're actually making their way away from the edge of the map, so they might be able to be engaged. Oh, I missed your perfect shot. So you men, actually you guys can engage Tiger with a broadside. Your broadside right, ah, uh, didn't really work. Your broadside left. I mean, I want Ranger to try and knock out more masts. Got a hit, but not a decisive one. You chats pop off some shots, you men pivot. Pop off your broadside left into Mor Morian Hood. Good hit, but let's try and slam Beige Piranha around. Let's pivot Wayada around. To be honest, make all of you guys chase down at Mr. Van Hoom. There we go. The flounder is attacking Revoluti. 80 men compared to 141 buccaneers. She's being hauled in. To be honest, I should probably do this a bit more often, especially when I have such a enormous manpower advantage. Which 
actually get your broadside left ready. Oh, you've already fired. We'll get ready. Okay, that ship is routing. Okay, that means you guys don't have to... Well, you guys get over here more like... Sixth rate turned around. Put some shells into the mast of Morian's. Broadside right. Some good hits, but not enough. Get you guys back onto round shot because you've got some race built galleons on the way. Only 25 men on there, so let's actually give some of these ships orders to board the enemy. I actually never realised the fifth rates only have 82 crew. My galleons have 200 odd normally. Pumping shots into this fifth rate, which is in, in good condition, or better condition. Chasing down Vapen van Hoom. Get this galleon to chase down that Floyd. Okay, they've all surrendered. So everyone except for you guys, chase down and destroy Morian Hooft. You were going to attack that Floyd there, but instead you are going to pour some shots into Happy Delivery, the race-built galleon. Even the odds. Well, not even the odds. Actually, to be fair, you guys, well, you're going after Reperda. Oh no, sorry, you were going after this ship here. So, fifth rate is a very impressive looking ship, but you only have 80 crewmen compared to my 162. It should be getting even more in our favour. Get my sixth rates to fire canister shot, though, although I doubt they want to do too much to make too much of a difference but there we go fifth rate surrendered happy delivery is being boarded oh my god there you go pirates are boarding her although not as in normally they all ah, jump across Although, I haven't seen this before. Hey, my guys are climbing down from my rigging onto their deck. That's pretty cool. But they've surrendered. See, look at that. Handbrake turn into... Gichel de Floyd. This galleon's just in the way. It was trying to chase down the Reperda. Come on, Blue Badger. Everyone else has done their job. Give everyone else orders to attack the other ships. Let's speed up time. Actually, is the Floyd going to... Okay, you know what? We're going to... We're going to pull up. No, Chaser. Shouldn't have given up. You're going to try and board the Reperda. And you're going to sneak in. Oh, no, they don't want to leave the edge of the map. 
That's a bit of a bummer. But you're all going to try pummel her with cannon fire. I think the problem is, is that Perda doesn't want to leave the edge of the edge of the uh, battle map for reasons that entirely make sense because otherwise oh, you're not responding either fortunately Neptune is so I expect Blue Badger to be very successful in his boarding operations opening fire from point blank range Pirate Captain. It's damn strange. Yeah, my galleon versus their Floyd. That's a magnificent looking ship right there. There we go, my pirate meaties are aboard. Where's the captain? Stood up here like the coward he is, but my pirates are shimmying over! I didn't even know they did this. Attacked across up here. There we go, we're engaging their captain. Go on, sort him out. Oh, they've surrendered. They've struck their colours. So, can we not attack this ship then? Seemingly. Can you attack her from this side of the ship? It looks like she's in kind of a... I've lost control of Pearl as well. What interesting conundrum. Do you still do you still fire? See, I think part of the issue is now that the Floyd wants to go somewhere, but obviously we're not letting her. Hmm. She's now shaken. Keep the sixth rate firing, chain shot. Because the thing is, a chain shot obviously it, dis it dismasses, but it also dismays, and is quite good for depleting enemy morale, especially as these two ships here now. Yeah, not firing. They've been struck by the curse of Riperda. What about this flying? Flying Dragon Galleon does not care. Doesn't have many guns to show for it. Okay, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to bring you guys back when this section is completed. So just a second, everyone. And thankfully, Miharties, she surrendered at the edge of the map rather than continue to fight. So the entire Danish Navy, Dutch Navy, not Danish Navy, Dutch Navy, has been captured or destroyed. To be honest, I want all of them, really. Even the sixth. Tis a mighty pirate fleet and all of you Dutchmen are taken into captivity. Put into port for repairs immediately. Pretty much everybody put in for repairs. To get the sloop out and get everyone else in. This force needs to be repaired first. These ships can sail to San Jose de Oruna for repairs. Mr Winthrop, you can join, have that sloop join you to do some pirating, to earn some income, to counteract what we've just done. Apart from that, we have no money. Probably going to be rolling in it now we've now we've taken the British Isles. 
And I might actually use a militia unit to push them out of Portsmouth. Apart from that, it's in end turn. Genoa is raiding the Dutch, although it looks like the Dutch now own northern Italy. Hmm, so the Dutch are doing pretty well. And they've cleared away the Genoese navy that's blockading them in the channel. Britain's no longer attacking us, so I think we can combine a number of armies to attack that lone British force to the north. We will likely take many casualties. Uh, however, it will be worthwhile. So I'm probably going to want three armies, maybe, to attack that force, just to make sure that it's a done deal. Hmm, that's what the Ottomans are doing. I don't think... What you asked? I, I really don't know much about the political dynamics in Europe in this campaign, just because we've really not had to worry about it. Especially as being the pirates, we're usually at war with everybody. Hanover wants peace and they're not going to get it. Cherokee keep getting repelled from the Spanish, or by the Spanish. Württemberg wants peace and they're not going to get it. Okay, so back to our fleet. Okay, so you, Mr. Van der Spiegel, who's shown himself to be a fantastic admiral, get back to raiding this trade route. Let's get this sloop, get a sloop, back to Port Pay. In which case, actually, we're going to upgrade two of these ports here. And of the ships here, you chaps can now experience some replenishment, sucking up almost all of our cash. Let's go over to England to recruit some sloops to occupy some of our most important ports, although a couple of these we've actually we've destroyed ourselves, but let's mark these ones for dismantling. Can you chaps leave London? I think you can. And still be massively positive, just because they love us. We want to keep one army behind, though. But we are going to want to push up a number of armies. Probably push out Henry Wall's garrison. Backed up by Benito Baker. And the London garrison to attack John Churchill with overwhelming force but looking at the timer i believe it's time to end the episode so thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time as we finally clear the british isles away of british influence cheers everyone <laughs>